Welcome to the Sports Forum. We are at AWS and today we're learning about the intersection of sports and tech. We're with Julie Souza. What is your role with AWS? Uh, I lead our global sports strategy here at AWS. Sounds very exciting. Today we've got to see some of the great ways that tech and sports are meeting up. I know sports are so sacred to so many people, so change always sounds scary, but there's been some great successes with introducing some AWS tools into sports and leagues around the world. Yes, um, yes, change can be scary, but it can also be very exciting, right? And we are finding the ex excitement is definitely um, there across sports. Lots of really cool things with analytics, so player health and safety with the NFL, coming off a season with the lowest concussion rate um, on, on record with the NFL due to a lot of the improvements they've been able to implement as a result of being able to detect players who are at risk of injury and mitigate those, changing the rules, um, and equipment changes there too. And then you and I had talked about F1, we both love this story, yes. right? Um, all of the data that's being captured off the cars and to give you a sense of the volume, it's 1.1 million points of data per second. And so using all of that data, um, obviously fuels insights to help team performance and things like that, but also it was used to help redesign the F1 car in 2022. With Bundesliga specifically, we've got a really cool demo showing how the fan experience can be catered to the fans' individual tastes. Can you describe oh, that? This. So this is really interesting. Again, it's taking the data out of and then creating custom commentary. And you can do that in a different language, but then also a different tone, right? So. They had one, they used to call it bro, um, but I think they're calling it Gen Alpha over there right now. Mm -hmm. um, but then they also have one poetic. Yes. So you could have a very, you know, waxing poetic about the goal that was just scored sort of tone in the, in the commentary, or it could be a very like, dude, that was a sick shot, right? It's really meeting fans where they are and making them feel like even more connected to the sport they love. From futuristic basketball simulations to smart chips and shoulder pads, there's lots of different ways that the worlds of sport and tech meet up. 